G'day guys and good morning from Bangkok, Thailand. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am extremely excited to go to Chiang Mai today. Um, but first, I just wanted to talk about something. Now, yesterday was actually the day that Patty shouted me out. Now, I know that this video is probably going to be posted in about a week, but um, you know, I woke up this morning my dad texted me and he said, have you checked your subscriber account yet? I said, no. And he said, well, you should probably film it because it's pretty good. So I haven't checked my phone all morning. I've had a shower, got dressed, turned the camera on. So let's check now. I'm just going to screen and record my screen so you guys can see it. So we'll go YouTube. Wow. Almost a thousand subscribers, guys. <laughs> that's um that's really cool that's really really cool <sighs> damn thanks so much everyone who had subscribed that's way more than what I ever imagined you know the life of the traveler isn't always as glamorous as you see on Instagram um, <laughs> you see this is my current laundry status I'm trying to get those dry and I've still got to pack my bag. I've got crap everywhere. I'm just in a budget hotel for one night before we go to Chiang Mai. So today I've got to meet up with my friend, Jay. Yeah, we're gonna attempt to get on the train, the night train to Chiang Mai. We both have no idea what to do. So I'll be taking you guys along with me. We'll be experiencing it together to see what it's like. I believe we'll be going uh, second class on the train, so that should be interesting. Let's get this day started. So we're at the train station. Bit of change of plans. Me and my friend Jay, who you'll meet in a second, we've actually decided that we're not gonna go to Chiang Mai now because of the smoky season. A lot of the farmers there are actually burning off their crops, um, which is a way here that they farm so they can get in a second sowing. So essentially they burn all of their crops ready for more rain to come, so then they can get a second crop. So apparently the smoke is really bad in Chiang Mai right now. So we've decided to go to Hua Hin instead. Um, so this is my train here. It leaves in about an hour and a half. It should be interesting. We've got a second class cabin with um, fan, which was 300 baht, which is about uh, 13 Australian dollars, probably $8 US. So really good price. So I'll introduce you guys to Jay in a second when he arrives and um, we can see what this train line is like. But check out this. So essentially they're just cleaning down the train once it arrives. This would never happen in Australia. Australian trains are always so dirty, full of graffiti and everything. They, I've never seen one get cleaned. Here in Thailand they've, they clean them which is Good, so I can only imagine that inside the cabin's gonna be awesome as well, so let's check it out. So I'm on the train and it's pretty cool this train actually, so it's no AC, but all the windows are open and you've got fans uh, above you. I'll give you a look. No AC, but that's fine because we actually leave at five o'clock and, and the sun starts to set at around six, so. It'll be nice and cool pretty soon. It was pretty easy. I just looked at my ticket, car number six, and then jumped on. See you guys in Hu Ai Hin.
Alrighty go guys, so I've just arrived in Hua Hin. Unfortunately, uh, Jay couldn't make it. He's actually going to be coming tomorrow. He had a run-in with his landlord and was just trying to fix out a few issues. Here's my train just here. So it's about 10 o'clock at night right now and I've got to somehow work out how I'm going to get a taxi to my hotel. So that's the next mission because there doesn't look to be many taxis around. So we'll work that out. How good's that? So I just ordered a grab, which I didn't realize that they had here. That's a bonus. I thought I might have to try and hail down a taxi, which there's none here. So I would have been trying to fit all my stuff on a motorbike, which they have motorbike taxis, but yeah, I've ordered a car. So um, it's about two minutes away. finally arrived well that um that train journey felt really really long i recommend if you're coming to hua hin i did get the second class and it was fan but as you can see there was little tiny bugs and mosquitoes that just kept on hitting my face and went in my eyes and because all the windows were obviously open and yeah, like you have sunglasses. So if you're gonna take the cheaper option, definitely wear sunglasses, especially if you're going at night time, the mosquitoes are just crazy. And also I'm hoping that the uh, audio on this video is a lot better than previous videos. I've upgraded my camera equipment. I now have a taller tripod, a better microphone, and a adapter for the GoPro as well. So I'm hoping that we're stepping up the game Another thing I just wanted to touch on was everyone's comments from my video with Patty and everyone's who's, everyone who has came over from Patty's channel. Thanks so much guys, like I've been reading through your comments and like wow, just so much encouragement, so much support, so thank you for that. I'll give you guys a tour of the room, so let's start with outside. So this room was actually... 10 US dollars per night I know right so that's 15 Australian dollars um, crazy so it comes with a really big balcony outdoor sink if you wish aircon fridge complimentary bottles of water and cups which is nice flat screen TV this is always good because I um I bring my what's it called Google Chromecast and you can just hook it up to there and get Netflix and Stan and all stuff like that Nice comfy bed full-length mirror, which is always good if you want to check yourself out <laughs> <laughs> Storage space small storage play space and Shower this looks like a good pressure shower and toilet sink so yeah, this building is a little bit on the older side. I'd like to say maybe 15 years old, maybe 20 years old. But um, you know, they've done all new paint and stuff and all the new, you know, there's new appliances and everything. But I think people actually rent rooms in here as well. Cause when I came up on the elevator, I'm on the seventh floor. When I came out, there was uh, different meters for every single room. So I think people obviously pay like rent out rooms and pay electricity based on what the meter says so yeah it's now 10 o'clock at night and i am really really hungry that looks like a good restaurant first impressions of who i in i don't know if you can see it there because it is pitch black but i'm i've got a mountain view i guess we'll pick it up in next video to see my first impressions of who i in and what's it like here what's opened what can you do in 2022 yeah just drop a comment let me know what you want to see. I'm going to Bangkok, uh, sorry. I'm going to Vietnam at the end of the month. So that should be really interesting. I'm going with my friend Jay, who's actually coming here tomorrow. So yeah, sorry I couldn't film that much on the train. You know, there was people sleeping and it was really, really noisy. So I wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to pick up much audio. And I also think as well, even if I did go with the first class option, I think that you know, it's good to experience it the Thai way, right? The local way. You know, I was on just the fan cart. The windows were wide open. I could stick my arms out the window. 
um you know i could even like go out to the um to the side of the door like the door's completely open on the train so if you just want to jump off you can um it's a bit like you know in india they have that as well anyway i'm rambling if you've made it this far into the video thanks so much and as always guys keep it real another thing that i want to quickly show you as soon as i turn the camera off is the Thai building here construction is so different like look at this look how thick this grout is guys look that's like that thick just for grout they've obviously got a massive hole and like look all around the sink too and here oh, it's like some of the stuff just am just amazes me like look at this so thick. Anyways. There's heaps of big monkeys everywhere. And they look really intimidating. First it was dogs, now it's monkeys. And there go the dogs again. Alright, I'm just gonna try and get the hell out of here. <laughs> 